If you're like me and you like reading books on Kindle, you might have wondered how you could export your highlights in an organized way and save them as notes. At least I did. I use Notion as my primary note taking slash productivity management app and I already have a database of all of the books that I've read so far and also the ones that I'm planning to read next. And since each of these entries is a page in itself, I thought why not populate them with highlights. The only problem was Kindle stores all of the highlights in a text file which as you can see contains a ton of useless information like the book location, where the highlight was made and when it was made. So I needed to find a way to filter out the highlights, group them by the book title and send them to my Notion database. Not only that, all of this should happen automatically with minimal human effort. So over the past two weekends, I've spent a majority of my time coding and I'm finally ready with an app that would allow readers to seamlessly transfer their highlights to Notion. Let's take a look. So I'm on my Mac right now and I'm going to show you how exactly to set up Kindle to Notion in order to sync your highlights from, you guessed it, Kindle to Notion. So uh, first uh, I'll just go to my web browser and uh, to my repository for Kindle to Notion project. And as you can see, I've uh, written down a very detailed readme talking about the project, the environment I've used and uh, how exactly to set up everything and also how to sync your highlights and some of the extra information for nerds. So first of all, I'll just briefly talk about the environment setup which uh, is required prior to installing this application. So basically you need to be in a stable node environment and I've, test, I've like personally installed this on node uh, version 16 and it has worked like flawlessly there and I've also tested this on node 14 and I found it working there as well. So any of these two will work as far as I can say. Now in this video I'm not going to show you how to install node because the process differs for uh, different operating systems. So you can just figure that out uh, by googling or by searching that on YouTube. And once you're ready with your node version installed, with a stable version of node installed, then you can uh, follow along and move on to the st setup process. So the first step here is to copy my books database template to your Notion dashboard. Now the reason uh, is that there are some fields like title, author and book name that are required for the sync to work properly. And I've used these uh, fields already in my template. So I thought it would be better if I can just share it with you so that if you're comfortable using my uh, template uh, for your own database, you can just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab here. This books database exists on my primary workspace and I also have a secondary workspace for tutorial purposes. So I'm just going to duplicate this to my secondary workspace. So you can assume that I'm um, just a beginner starting out and uh, I don't have any books in my Notion uh, dashboard. So I'll be starting from scratch. So I'm just going to duplicate this to my uh, second workspace here, which is Abdul's Notion. Now this process could take some time. So go grab a cup of coffee if you'd like and I'll come back once it's done. So now the entire database of books has been copied from my primary workspace to the secondary workspace. And since I told that I'll be starting out with nothing in my database. So imagining that, you know, I don't have any books there. I'm just going to delete everything here. Now the books template is ready. Uh, it's emptied out, uh, no books present here. So I'm just going to go back to GitHub here and follow the next steps. So the next step in order is to clone my repository to your local system. I've provided the command for that. So just copy it for the purpose of illustration. I'm just going to clone uh, my repository to my desktop locally. So I'm just going to open my terminal here. CD into desktop and then clone the repository here. The next step is to uh, move into your local repository. So for that, just do CD and Kindle to Notion. So now I'm inside my repository and the next step is to install all the dependencies using this command npm install. So 
So all of the dependencies for this project have now been installed. It took just a few seconds. And uh, so we can move on to the next step. So next step is to remove .example um, extension from these three files. So cache.example will become cache, data.example will become data, and .env.example will become .env. So for that, I'm just gonna open my Visual Studio code here, and I'll be opening this folder here. So it's on desktop, the repository, and open. I'm just going to allow, and so here I have, uh, so here right now I'm in my repository and I've opened this in VS code. So as you can see, these are the three dot example files here, cache.example, data.example and dot env dot example. So I'm just going to rename them and remove dot example extension. Right now, let's move on to the next step. So the next step is to get your Notion API key at this link and create a new internal integration. So let's do that step together. I'm just going to open this to a new link here. So right now I'm in my primary workspace, as you can see. Now I already have a book highlights integration that I'm currently using with my primary workspace for the book uh, database. I'm just going to create a new integration here and I'll, I'll name this as books highlight tutorial and I'll be associating this to my second workspace, my uh, secondary workspace, which is Abdul's notion and submit. Okay, so now you can see the integration type is internal as given in um, GitHub in the uh, setup process. So you can see in new internal integration. So the inter integration type is internal. You don't need to upload any image for the logo. Just the name is fine. And this will give you an internal integration token, which is your Notion API key. Just going to copy, go back to uh, GitHub now and here. The next step is to go to your Notion dashboard, navigate to the books database, click on share in the top right hand corner and invite the integration you just created. So in the previous step, we just created this uh, integration and now the next step is to allow it to access the books database, which is in my secondary workspace. So I'll just click on share here, just click on invite here and select the integration books highlight highlights tutorial. and. Uh, the access type is can edit and just hit invite. So now the integration that we just created has access to edit this database. Now let's go back to GitHub and look at the next step. So the next step is to copy the link to the Notion Books database and extract the database ID as shown below. So for example, if this is the link to the database, then this is the database ID. Uh, in simple terms, the database ID is nothing but all of this gibberish between the, the slash and the first question mark. So this is your Notion database ID. Okay. So let's go and extract that right now. So I'll go back to books here. I'll click on these triple dots and copy link to view. And I need to extract the database ID. So for that, I'm just going to go to my uh, VS code here. And in this .env itself, I'm going to paste this and remove everything but the Notion database ID. So this is the Notion database ID and this is what we are supposed to place here at book DB ID instead. So just remove this placeholder and copy paste this. Okay. Now let's go back to the integrations page here. Copy the uh, internal integration token. And this goes into your Notion API key. So this is all the setup that you must do in order to allow this app to edit uh, that database, the book database. Now save this file and head over to GitHub again. Now the next and final step is to connect your Kindle to your computer and extract the myclippings.txt file, which basically contains 
all of your highlights or clippings. So now I'm just going to connect my Kindle to my laptop here. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this. Now let me navigate to Finder and uh, go to Kindle. So this is the Kindle drive here and if I go into documents I can find myclippings.txt. So this is a text file which contains all of your highlights. I mean in this case all of the highlights that I have made in my Kindle. So let's just copy this and the next step here as you can see is to replace my clippings.txt that is already present in the resources folder with the one uh, that you own or in this case the one that I just copied. So for that I'm going to go into finder, go to desktop because the, that's where my uh, repository is, the local repository. I'll open Kindle to Notion. I'll go into resources folder and here I already have my clippings.txt so I'm going to paste here and replace. Okay. So this is exactly what you have to do in order to uh, put your uh, clippings in place of mine, the one that I just kept as placeholder. Now close this window and uh, here if I go into resources I can see that all of my clippings are present. Right. So as you can see, we are at the end of the setup section. So all of the setup has been completed. Now all we have to do right now is to just run this script npm start and watch our highlights teleport. So let's copy this. Head over to VS Code and I'm just going to use the VS Code terminal here itself because it's available here and paste this command right and run so you can see it has given me all the stats like parsing grouping uh, clipping stats and all of the stats for the clippings like the title of the book the author and the number of highlights present uh, in the in my clippings.txt for that book similarly for all the books it has given me the same and apart from that it's showing me that syncing the highlights to notion syncing book and it also says that the book is not already present in the database that I provided so it's creating a new notion page for it because we started with an empty database this time uh, using mine as a template it's going to create a page for every single book since nothing is present there I've also added these cool emojis uh, in order to make the log statements look nice so if you like them then let me know in the comment section Depending on the size of the highlights, this could take quite some time. So be patient and let everything sync. So yeah, as you can see, it has successfully synced all of my highlights to Notion. And if we just go back to, uh, to my books database here, you can see all of these books have now been uh, put here. And only the title and author has been populated nothing else so you are free to choose whatever you like for the rest so for example uh, let's consider this book the infinite game which is the one that I'm currently reading so I have just made a uh, few highlights here so I can you know put the status to reading and the genre to let's say uh, self-help the date started let's say uh, 1st of December date finished will be uh, something in the future let's say December 9 so I can do the same for uh, the rest of the books and apart from this you are also free to change the title of these books because title is not the primary key for querying this database instead it is book name so this uh, book name is the one that matches with whatever was written in the Kindle as the title of the book so you are free to uh, change to maybe shorten this because I feel that it's too long too lengthy so I'm just going to uh, change it to the art of saying no similarly uh, I can just truncate this to start with Y. So you can make these changes um, as and when you like. And apart from that, if you open this as a page, you can see all of the highlights that are present. 
so there's a very nice title heading one here with the name highlights and a emoji cool emoji here and these are all the highlights that were synced from your kindle to this notion database using the kindle to notion app uh, the only thing that you should not be touching is this book name because it corresponds directly with um, whatever was written in myclippings.txt so please don't uh, edit the book name instead you can edit the title the author status genre date started and date finished but don't edit book name now another cool feature that i had added to this app was that it only syncs the new highlights so at this stage if you see all of these books have already been synced now if i try and run the code again in order to sync it again it's going to print all the stats and then it's going to say books that are already synced are these and it's going to also say that every book is already synced so no extra sync takes place and if i go ahead and add an extra uh, highlight let's say by just editing my clippings file and uh, these clippings file can really get long as you can see it's around 8200 lines so i'm just going to add another clipping here at the end <clears throat> and uh, i can't use the same exact highlight because in the code i've internally removed all all of the duplicate um, highlights so i'll have to change this to something else so let's say i'm just going to write um notion dashboard tutorial Dr. Rahman Kali. okay i'm going to save this so now this highlight has been added to this book the infinite game by the author simon sinek right so i'll just save this file and if i run this again you can see that it says these are the books that are already synced but the infinite game was not fully synced because a new highlight was added so it's going to sync this extra highlight um, into notion and it also says that the book was already present so it's just going to append the extra highlight that was found right so we can go ahead and verify that if i go to the infinite game open as page and go to the end of the uh, highlight section you can see notion dashboard tutorial abdurrahman kareem so this was added i'm just going to remove this and another thing i would want you to understand is that uh, the app maintains a local cache so even if i delete this and if i run this again <clears throat> no sync will take place because the cache is present locally so if you're not happy with any of the highlights that you've made you can just delete them from notion and you don't have to worry about it are getting synced back into notion because the app maintains a local cache and it does that in this uh, folder the cache folder here where you can see there's this sync.json and if i just format this document you can see it has all the metadata regarding which book uh, was was synced and uh, the title the author and how many highlights were synced so now if a new highlight comes it automatically gets updated here so this is the basics about how you can uh, use this app to sync your uh, kindle highlights into notion and every time you make new highlights all you have to do is just you know replace uh, this the old myclippings.txt with the new one and just run npm start that's all if you're interested in learning about the inner workings of this app i would encourage you to take a look at my code on github the entire code is heavily commented and will be easier for you to understand. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.